Good afternoon, everyone. I'm He Liang Zheng from University of Science and Technology of China. I'm glad to talk about learning multi-attention convolution neural network for fine grained image recognition. This work is cooperated with Jian Long Fu, Tao Mei from Microsoft Research Asia, and Jie Bo Luo from Rochester University. There are many birds in Venice. Here is a very common one, can be seen almost everywhere. We may know this is a kind of bird, but we can't know the specific species. Fine green recognition can help us and told us that this is herring gull. Fine green image recognition is image recognition in fine green level. For example, the flower recognition, the birth recognition, dog recognition, and so on. To solve the fine green recognition problem, the general recognition network is necessary, but not enough. There are supposed to be something special for fine green. It can be home annotated key points. For example, you can train a fast RCN to detect the key points location and then extract part features for recognition. However, labeling key points cost too much. So some people try to learn discriminative parts by the classification label in a weakly supervised way. Some people try to learn fine feature, for example, by a bilinear pooling. Our previous work in CPR 2017 shows that the part localizing and fine feature learning can help each other. First, deep feature maps from convolutional layer can help localize multiple parts, fit an image into a convolutional neural network. We can uh, get the count features with, uh, two, uh, with 512 channels in, uh, if we, we use C, uh, VGG, for example. Some channel of the feature response around head, some around the wing, and so on. Second, the subtle viral difference can be clearly represented from specific parts, as shown in the images. Moreover, in many cases, Subtle difference lies in multiple parts. For example, in the left image, the beak, wing, feet, and tails are all discriminative parts. Inspired by the above points, we designed a multi-attention CNN, which can jointly learn the part localization and feature, and can get multiple attentions for each image. Let me introduce the framework in detail. Given an image, we extract the convolutional features. When we look at each channel of the con feature, we can find that different channels have high response in different regions. So we design a channel grouping layer to group feature maps by channel into several, for example, four groups. We summed the feature maps in each group and can get the uh, four parts. The summed feature maps is our attention map. Then we can extract part-based representation for further classification. The classification loss can encourage to attend on discriminative parts instead of background. And uh, we design a channel grouping loss to further force multiple attention focus on a specific part by a distance loss component and different with each other by a diversity loss component. So the output of channel grouping can be different di discriminative parts. The part-based classification loss and our channel grouping loss guide the joint learning of feature and part. We evaluate the framework on three public datasets, the COB bars, sensor cars, an aircraft. To evaluate the attention learning, we can see this slice. The left is the input image, and the right are our learned attention maps. The first line is part attention by channel grouping, and the second line is part attention by joint learning. We can see that after joint learning, the attention is much more clear and focused on the specific parts. 
The left images show the attention results in bounding box form. We can see that uh, for the birth, the attended four areas, uh, maybe we can call it the head, the neck, uh, the wing, and the feet. The right table shows the classification accuracy compared with baseline. We can see that the two parts MACNN is comparable with the best uh, model RACNN, and the four parts MACNN get 1% improved. This shows the necessary for the multiple parts. Similar results can be found on the car data set. The attended area can be the light, the wheels, uh, the front, and the side. We also can get improved accuracy. For the aircraft, and there are also four attended areas, and we can get the performance about uh, around 90%. Thanks. If you have any question, welcome to our poster number four. Any questions? Um, sorry, I didn't get, do you need to use uh, part of annotations to, uh, to train your method? Pardon? Do you need to use part annotations to train uh, no, your no, part no. filters? Uh, or we, we didn't use any part annotation and bounding box. It's a weekly supervised way. Thank you. I have a question. Uh, which term does uh, guarantee some discriminativity of this part? May I have a harder? Uh, can you repeat your question? Okay, yeah. Uh, is there any term uh, in your laws that uh, uh, enables some uh, these parts to be uh, discriminative? Are you talking about uh, the loss design or the attention area? Yeah. Uh, about the channel grouping loss? Okay, and the channel grouping loss component took, um, have two components, the di distance loss and the diversity loss. We can see from the function that the distance loss can, uh, can force to force on the uh, one area because uh, when, uh, when it attended on the, the other area instead of the top, uh, the high and the highest area and the pan and the loss will be large and the diverse loss can force the uh, and the four attentions to be different with each other and the left oh, okay uh, okay any other questions thanks the speaker again thank you